Hi guys, Terry here. We got a bunch of snow last night. Um, we're in central Ohio and uh, it's pretty cold outside. And the tub project has started. We're removing, uh, we moved into this cabin a couple years ago and we decided to take this great big tub out of the uh, center of the upstairs. Um, the upstairs is made up of the master bedroom uh, that back there is the bathroom and there's a walk-in closet and just decided that that tub is taking up a lot of space we hardly ever use it, it just collects dust so that project is underway but today I wanted to show you the um, stamps that I showed the other day that I bought I wanted to show you that I'm using them so this is the um, art impressions watercolor rubber stamps and they are um, made for using watercolor markers so I ordered from that company a set of Tombow markers and then I added another set from Joanne's the other day and I will show you how it's coming along so the supplies I'm using um, this little stamp here was a little thank you stamp they sent and I stamped this in VersaFine uh, black ink and I used a stamp block just to stamp him down VersaFine is an ink, it's a pigment ink it doesn't work with Copic markers but it does work with watercoloring so here's an example. Um, and I went by the color on the packaging. So what I found was there's different methods for using the Tombow markers. One is putting the ink directly on the paper and just kind of going around it. And then the Tombow markers, the set that I got, came with a uh, blender pen. So this just helps you blend this color out. And I'm using watercolor paper. Uh, nothing fancy, I think it's just some cheap watercolor paper. But this, this blender pen allows you to just bring that color out. onto the watercolor paper. And it's really pretty. I mean, it blends. It's darkest where you first put the ink down. And then the, the um, blender pen brings it out. So, um, that was fun. But the way these um, art impressions rubber stamps work are is that you put the you put the ink directly onto the stamp. So let me show you this one here. And I, I do have some smaller ink blocks block, blocks on order. But this is what you do. And the gal that does the videos, I'll have links on my website to her information. She makes it look very easy. And I think it's just going to be one of those things that takes practice. So what I showed you there was directly putting the marker to the paper and then this one is showing just stamping it using the marker to ink the rubber stamp and so for example let me show you this part too I think she likes to use the markers directly onto the stamp because then you can do your different colors so I can do the ink I can do green ink on the stems and then the pink on the flower and then it looks like that so now you've got your color on your water paper and the idea is and I tried it with the uh, water uh, the pens 
the water pans that have the water in the pan and what happens is too much water comes out you just can't control it so what I found better to work was just a paintbrush a really small paintbrush and some water and you just take this and touch it to your image that you did here and again she makes this look really quick and easy you just dab it on here and then you may or may not paint the stem I think the stem you could leave alone but just painting the flowers um, and this is one that I did I didn't like it yesterday when I did it I think we're all super critical when we do something I really didn't like the pale but now today when I look at it I'm just a little less critical of it so I kind of like how it turned out so this the pale this is actually one that I bought from um, a, a site called um, stamps by Judith so that's the pale there and then I also have a glass jar I didn't like how the jar turned out but I think that it is um, just it just takes practice right everything that we do takes practice so um, I was just learning the different techniques and then playing with the stamps and um, the other thing I'll show you with the stamp and she does a really good job with this is that you you put your ink on here like I showed and this is just getting the ink on there and then putting your two colors on and then what she does when she's making it is she stamps it once to be the main and then she stamps a couple more times to make it be uh, different shades and then again you could take your watercolor and just dab it to these different flowers and then I think that way it looks like you watercolored water color painted it so the stamp sets that I bought was um, and she says to have a variety this is a pack of flowers so that one's pretty this one is a set of um, foliage she calls it so just kind of some greenery I love the samples that come with the stamps too and then this one is some branches and they don't look like much but I think with practice and that's what I did yesterday was I just sat here and practiced with the branches stamping it once and stamping a few more times so and it's just it's hard to know how much branches and how much greenery and how much flowers and I don't think there's any wrong way to do it and I think the samples that come with the um, with the rubber stamps are phenomenal but I think the way I'm gonna learn it best is just watching her videos and I'll have links like I said to her videos but I just want to encourage you to try it I think it's something new I've always wanted to learn more about watercoloring and I think these stamps are just a good way to to start out I mean look at that scenery and her company just ha they have all the like little stamps you know they've got stamps of buildings of containers and then you can just create your scenery so I'll have links on my website and I thank you for watching bye guys